So we bring this up because today is a national crossword puzzle day. Crossword fans or cruciverbalists. There you go. There it is. Cruciverbalists love the puzzles for their mix of trivia and wordplay. Crossword Day is celebrated on December 21st because that's the anniversary of the first ever crossword. It was published on this day, 1913, in the New York World newspaper. And get this, the New York Times initially said, not interested. They said crosswords were frivolous. As we know, they caved. That happened in 1942, and for many players, it is still the standard bearer for crosswords. Since 1993, Will Shorts has been the editor of the Times Puzzles. Shorts gets a lot of respect and admiration for his work, but as Kathleen Shannon found out when she spoke with him in 2006, he also gets a lot of something else. Yeah, a lot of people hate me. <laughs> How come? <laughs> Uh, because they think I'm a taskmaster, you know? I'd like the, that, that uh, school teacher who uh, wagged her finger at you in second grade because you made a mistake. And are you really like that? No, I actually want you to be able to solve the puzzles, but I want you to have to work to do it. Well, I can tell you, I work and work and work <laughs> on the New York Times crossword puzzle every Sunday. I hardly, I hardly ever finish them. But, you know, tell me, what do you think it is about crosswords that it really becomes like an addiction? You know, it becomes part of your daily routine, you know, whether you do it over the morning coffee or in bed at night or on the train, whatever. Uh, it's partly the appeal of the black and white squares, I think. If, you know, they say nature abhors a vacuum. Yes. And if you, if you see a, an empty grid with squares to be filled in and you're a puzzle person, it's very hard to turn the page without filling them in. You just feel like I need to, I need to fill that space. Um, you know, I'm always curious because sometimes I'll work on a, a Sunday New York Times crossword for hours. How long does, you, does it take you to create one? Well, uh, for the New York Times, I edit the puzzles right. rather than make, make them myself. But for the people who make them, I'd say on average, a Sunday puzzle takes six to 20 hours, depending on how serious a challenge it is. And I've heard of people who spend as much as 100 hours making one. Okay, so now I don't feel so bad about spending a few hours trying, no, to, no, sol no. trying to solve them. Now, I understand, I was reading that you started doing crossword puzzles when you were six. Did you always intend for this to become a career? I went through many ideas, but I'll tell you, when I was in the eighth grade, when asked to write a paper on what I wanted to do with my life, I said I wanted to be a professional puzzle maker. Uh, I went through a lot of other career ideas since then. I have a, a law degree from the University of Virginia. But I tell you, I uh, kept coming back to puzzles because I love the creativity of them, uh, the challenge, the fact that I'm always learning. And I love the people I meet through puzzles. You know, they're smart, they're funny, they have flexible minds. Uh, I just love puzzle people. So, of course, you probably get this question with everyone who interviews you or anyone who meets you anywhere. What's your number one tip in terms of trying to solve a difficult crossword? Yeah. Well, I tell you, if you're a new solver to the New York Times crossword, start with the Monday puzzle because the puzzles get harder as the week goes on. Uh, Monday is easy medium, builds up to very hard on Friday and Saturday. So see if you can do Monday, and if you can, you know, work your way up through the week. If you're stuck in a puzzle, my advice is to put it aside and come back later. It's amazing how often that trick works. You know, something clicks in the brain later on, and uh, you get an answer you missed before, and suddenly you're off and running again. Crossword puzzles, also a great way to keep your brain healthy. A recent study published in the New England Journal of Medicine Evidence found that daily crossword puzzles can help turn around any minor cognitive decline. Good to know. And thankfully our producer Christer says he does them all the time. Right, right. Thankfully, Christer's doing it. Not us. <laughs> <laughs> We're thankful for that.